Cumberland Island National Seashore, the crown jewel of Georgia, yet the island is now forced to defend itself from the very county that Cumberland calls home. There is no bridge from the mainland. Time has essentially stood still, leaving a land of beautiful isolation and mysterious serenity. Over 60,000 visitors a year come here to hike, camp, and unplug from a digital world. Cumberland Island is beloved by so many, yet is now on the brink of desolation. The National Seashore is owned by all Americans. The world's longest running Loggerhead Sea Turtle Research Program takes place on the isolated beaches of Cumberland, while 9,000 acres of wilderness remain in a primeval state. Camden County, Georgia government has submitted an application to the FAA for a license to build a spaceport to launch private commercial rockets directly over the Cumberland Island National Seashore. Unlike all other vertical launch pads located directly at the ocean, Spaceport Camden would be located a mere four miles inland from Cumberland Island. Most rocket explosions occur in the first two minutes of liftoff, making Cumberland Island and its old growth maritime forest ground zero for falling toxic and flaming debris. The wilderness area, campsites, the Cumberland Island Museum, and the 1893 First African Baptist Church have weathered heat, humidity, and hurricanes, but will they survive a rocket failure from above? The loggerhead sea turtles, along with six species of migratory birds and six other marine endangered species, call Cumberland Island home. The world has declared the ecosystems of Cumberland Island unique enough to carry the titles of United Nations International Biosphere Reserve and an important bird area by the Audubon Society. The waters around Cumberland Island are some of the most prolific fishing and shrimping waters in Georgia. All fishing, shrimping, and private marine vessels will be banned from entering public waters during rocket tests, launches, and landing operations at Spaceport Camden. Cumberland Island National Seashore was once saved for the benefit of all Americans. This time, the island and its residents need to be saved from a fiery disaster from above.